Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gary and I'm a student respiratory therapist. So first of all, I want to apologize for my introduction video. For some reason, recording on my Sony camera made the quality so weird and when I recorded a second video, it kind of distorted the video. So I'm just gonna shoot from my iPhone. I thought I would be all professional and shoot on my Sony camera. It didn't work. So you guys are getting um, iPhone quality, hopefully HD videos. What I wanna talk about in this video is just how challenging it can be to be an RT student and my path towards getting into the program. So what I wanna talk about is the preclinical courses and did I find it challenging and what can you do to ease that? So like I've said before, um, the preclinical courses that you need to take are microbiology, physics, physiology, anatomy, and biology. And for my school, we have RT1 and RT2, and those are before you get into the program. So taking science classes um, for me was a little difficult because I was coming from, I was a film major before. So it was kind of like the quite opposite of what I was doing and what I was learning. And so getting into it, it was a lot, but you just have to make it be as fun as it can be. I thought it was challenging and that was fun for me and you just have to make it fun for you and not think of it like, oh, this is gonna be so hard. Um, you know, make friends and enjoy the labs and it's pretty easy where you can kind of memorize to learn, which is a bad thing, but for those classes, um, for tests purposes, you know, there's a lot of things that I was like, I'm not gonna use this in respiratory therapy. So those were kind of the things that I was like, I'll just memorize it for a test. And uh, that's not the best way to go about it, but just prepare yourself that, you know, it's, it's not your average class. It's not just an English class. Like it's long hours and there are labs, but you can do it and you can get through it. And the next thing you know, you're gonna be in the RT program because I can't believe that I'm already in the RT program and time has just flown by. One of the best things that you can do is color code your notes. Now, I never used to do this before um, my RT classes, but going into the RT classes, I was like, there has to be some other way for me to learn like well, you know? And so I would make flashcards and they just would not work for me, you guys. Like maybe they work for you and that's great. But for me, it's just, I was just wasting my time. And next thing I knew, it was like two hours later, I'm tired and it just wasn't working. And so going into RT, I was like, I have to change my way of thinking, my way of studying, my way of writing notes. So what I do is I color code my notes, and for an example, I'm gonna show you guys. So what I do is I put a topic in green, and I put terms in blue, and I put important information in red, and everything else that I write is in black. So there's just, there's so many things that you can do, but that is what I do for my notes, and it really helps. You guys, I cannot, like, I'll be taking a quiz, and I'll be like, oh my gosh, what? is the answer and I'll be like I'll just think back and in my notes I'm like I wrote it in red there are three things I wrote in red and it just it really just helps for memory retention so color coding do it and you will love it I promise so if you happen to have RT classes before the program like at my school I highly suggest you make friends because it's just so important. You really bounce ideas off of each other. And when you're in a clinical setting, you're working in a team anyways. I think it's really important to already establish connections with people that you're gonna be working with. And it really helps because you can ask them how they're studying, you can ask them if they've done this or that, and you can just really bounce ideas off of each other. Study groups is not particularly my forte. I'm really good at studying by myself, and I'm especially good at studying last minute. Now, I always study and I always read, but the night before the test, I feel like I just do my best studying, and that just works for me. Sometimes study groups can be a little distracting, um, so you just kind of have to find your groove, but definitely make those friends to talk to, to ask questions, 
and it really helps. And sometimes someone can explain something differently than the teacher explained it. And all of a sudden you're like, wow, I never thought of it like that. And it helps. So definitely make friends. I just got um, two of the books that I need for the RT program for the first semester. And it's a medical terminology book and cardiopulmonary anatomy and physiology. And I have to give a shout out to my friend Nancy. She's currently in the RT program and she gave me her books for the semester. And it's just one of the nicest things because as an art, as a fellow RT student, like you know how hard it's going to be and how hard it is. And so just giving a lending hand whenever you can is very nice. And I very appreciate it because that just saved me a lot of money too. <laughs> well guys, I hope you found this video informative. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I would love to answer any questions that you guys have. The next time I talk to you guys, I will have taken a few classes of my clinical applications class and I will have taken my cardio pulmonary uh, physiology class and I'll let you guys know how it goes and what we're going to be talking about and what we're going to be experiencing and I'll be ordering my stethoscope and my uniforms and my shoes very soon and I will share all of that with you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Gary, student respiratory therapist, and thanks for watching.